The decision of the majority, the master of the rolls, Sir Geoffrey Voss, and Lord Justice Underhill, the Vice President of the Court of Appeals Civil Division, is that the deficiencies in the asylum system in Rwanda are such that there are substantial grounds for believing that there is a real risk that persons sent to Rwanda will be returned to their home countries where they faced persecution or other inhumane treatment when, in fact, they have a good claim for asylum. In that sense, Rwanda is not a safe third country. That conclusion is founded on the evidence which was before the High Court that Rwanda's system for deciding asylum claims was, in the period up to the conclusion of the Rwanda Agreement, inadequate. The Court is unanimous in accepting that the assurances given by the Rwandan government were made in good faith and were intended to address any defects in the asylum process. However, the majority believes that the evidence does not establish that the necessary changes had by then been reliably effected or would have been at the time of the proposed removals. In consequence, sending anyone to Rwanda would constitute a breach of Article 3 of the European Convention on Human Rights, which Parliament has required the government uh, to comply with. The result is that the High Court's decision that Rwanda was a safe third country is reversed, and that unless and until the deficiencies in its asylum processes are corrected, removal of asylum seekers to Rwanda will be unlawful. Finally, I should make clear that our decision implies no view whatever about the political merits or otherwise of the Rwanda policy. Those are entirely a matter for the government, on which the court has nothing to say. Our concern is only whether the policy complies with the law as laid down by Parliament. <laughs>